Hello and welcome back to the Journeyman series on FIFA 16. We're with Mordovia Sarant in the Russian League. It's Group 5 and we're 8 points behind CSK Moscow. So uh, they're the team to beat. They're the team that we need to gain ground on. If we do have any games against them coming up, we definitely will play them. Uh, we're still in the Euro League. We've pushed through to the knockout rounds and we have, is it Trabzon Spore, if that's how you say it, uh, from I think the Turkish League. Uh, so we'll have two legs against them uh, in this episode. We'll play one of them, we'll have to uh, simulate the second, and we'll move on. I think we're into February, so the only games for February is the Traps and Sport event, uh, as the Russian League doesn't kick back off until March. So uh, let's just get straight into this one and uh, get into that Euro League game. All right, here we go, Euro League time, and we're taking on Traps and Sport. The first leg is away, so... Uh, It'll be handy to play this one, hopefully get some away goals and uh, this big virus that's going through Moldova at the moment with uh, some of our lads dropping like flies, completely exhausted and losing all physical ability. I'm not sure what's going on, but Igbenike comes in on the left-hand side. He is 69 overall and uh, hopefully he can do a job there on the left for us. Here's the Trabzon Sports side. If you know any of those players, you're doing better than me because I've got no fucking idea about the Turkish League and who's playing there except for that wanker Van Persie, but he's probably retired by now. Here's our side, Kozlov, Rogasl, uh, Maxim, Jones and Edwards across the back. Anderson and Bush in the midfield. Ibnuke is on the left. Giorico, Rippart and uh, Luengo up front. All right, Euro League. Can we progress? We need a couple of away goals here and uh, just to set ourselves up for the home leg. Let's get into this one and see what the lads are made of. Bush, Rippart, Giorico can't get the shot, Rippart picks up the crumbs though, still going Rippart, slips it inside, he's found Edwards who takes a slipping shot, a good save from the goalkeeper and it's going to be a corner here now for Madobia Saransk, and he delivers something, Bush, slips through, oh taken down, he's earned us a penalty, Bush getting into the box, got shunted off the ball, and we pick up a penalty in the first 15 minutes. Well, Bush tried to slip inside. He left the leg out. Dirty motherfucker, that one. Bush goes down, and it's a penalty chance here for Luengo to give us the lead. Going top left, Luengo. And save from the goalkeeper. Well, not used to being saved going top left. So we may have to uh, reassess our penalties. But we've got a corner now, and it's Anderson once again. He delivers inside. It falls down and it's cleared away. Igbenike did well. Found Luengo. Turns his man inside out. It's, it's Luengo. Pushing inside Luengo. Can't get the shot off. He got taken down as well. Then they just clear it away. Under siege here at the moment is Trabzonspor. Fabian Bush making a push down the wing. Does he have the pace? He's still going. Has he got a cross on him? That is the question. He delivers in. Oh, good punch out by the goalkeeper. Bush feeds this one forward. He's got Anderson. Ripart. Luengo, what a save from the goalkeeper. Rippart, no, it's Igbenike, comes flying through. But the goalkeeper was up for the challenge. Free kick for Travis Ball, very, very close to half time. I'm unsure where they're going to go. They deliver it into the box. Maxim just gets up and clears that shit out. It's going to be a corner now. Travis and Spore trying to get a goal here off us just before half time. Deep into the box this time, and that one goes out. Another corner for Trabs and Spore. They're pushing hard. Kozlov controlling the box nicely. Here it is, deep into the box, and it is Kozlov once again. And there it is, half time at nil all. Rippart slips on forward. Here's Anderson. He creates something. Anderson works his way into the box, passes it off. He's found Igbenike. It's fallen to Luengo. Oh, off the side bar. He turned and fucking pulled the trigger. And he's missed out on the cupcakes there. A full 180 pirouette hits the top sidebar. And unfortunate. No goal. Corner for Trabs and Spore. They're pushing hard. They want that fucking goal. But we're not giving it to them just yet. Matix just fires it out. Wolverton slips one forward. He's got Rippart. It's Rippart now. We're into the 90th minute. Slips it inside. Oh, it's a poor pass. And that's just been the story of the day. The lads have not been up for this challenge here. And uh, unfortunate scenes as they push forward now in the final minutes. They're going to try and get in for a shot. He gets around helmet head. He feeds it inside. Kozlov with the save. He's done well. Anderson whips it off. And there it is. Full time at nil all. So it's really going to come down to whether the lads can do the job at home all on their own. 
Five shots to four, a pretty boring game in the end, and Owen Jones with a 7.4. All right, so the home leg of this second uh, part of our EuroLeague Voila, knockout round, should we say. We've sent the first team out. Luengo's picked himself up a yellow card. And we really want the boys to score here and try and get through on their own. I won't be disappointed if we do lose, but uh, it would be nice. It would be nice. Giarico does score in the 54th minute. And, but we're going to need two goals here, I feel, if we want to push through. Ten minutes remain. Will the goal be the difference? It is. Giarico's goal has put us through to the next round of the Euro League. Right, U Squad monthly report. Darwish 84 can piss off. Uh, Dahani is a 76 to 94, looking good. Ortag 68 to 84 is going to be released. An 84 to 90, Semenyov looks good. Eldani 86, release. An 87 in uh, Elkwani, he's not going to make the cut, release. An 87 in Okwuknu, he's only 16, we'll keep a hold of him. Nunez 83 to 89, for looking promising. Batabanger 80 to 86, he's only 15, we'll hold him for now. El Habeb 75 to 89, we'll hold on to. Bacalor 72 to 90, Mitchell 83 to 89, Mazapov 89 to 94, Quasim is a 66 to 82, release. Uh, Deben 81 to 94, and Jarvis 81 to 87. All right, so we are, have Olympicus, Olympiakos. Uh, in the Euro League in the round of 16. Uh, so we might play that in this one, I feel, because uh, some of these teams aren't really worth playing. We did lose to Dynamo Moscow 2-1, but then we smashed Spartak Moscow 4-0 so far this month. A couple of international games. But yeah, I think these are the games that we really want to be playing. So let's just view the fixture here. Which one is the away game? So the first one is the home away leg. Okay, so we'll play the first away. We'll play this one right now and see if we can get some goals on the board. All right, Euro League, and uh, it's Olympiakos who stand in our way in for the next round. You know, I wasn't really thinking that we'd get this far, but the round of 16, well, we're pushing through. Now, funny story, Luengo and Bush both red carded for this one. Uh, not sure to why, but you know, maybe they picked up too many yellows. And here is where we are looking at, and uh, none of our teams have made it through by the looks of things. So uh, we're the last hope for any of the Scott McMulkin teams. Uh, but an interesting game. We've got McGlynn up front. We haven't seen him before, I don't believe. He's been playing in the reserves. And uh, Helmethead comes into the starting lineup. Orbiton into Anderson. Flips it off quickly. Here's Maxim. He slips it off. Here's Giarico into the box. Shoots Giarico. What a fucking strike. And we take first blood with our first attempt moving forward. Gia Rico, mate. This kid has turned into an absolute... We knew he was good at Viborg, but what he's been doing here at Mordovia Saras is absolutely incredible. That was an absolute rocket off the left boot. Keeper probably didn't even have time to blink. And it is 1-0 to Mordovia Saras. The away goal will stand here. And can we build a foreseeable lead here? Half time, and we have the lead. 1-0. Gia Rico has made the difference. They've pushed forward, had a few chances, but Kovzlov's been on point. Let's move into the second half. There's Giarico. Pushes inside. Can he get the shot? Giarico! Oh, it's going to roll in. It is. Yes, get in. 2-0. Two, two away goals. And it's Giarico once again using all the luck in his back pocket. Well, helmet head fed it forward. And Giarico's persistence just to get in there. It's like he fucking found a woman on a Friday night and wasn't going to let her say no. And he got in there, worked the keeper, and somehow just trickles in. And Giarico picks himself up his second goal for the game. It's 2-0 to Mordovia Saransk. Oh, ball forward. And it's Giarico streaking forward. Giarico! Oh, what a save from Sanchez Ruiz. Denying Giarico his hat-trick. Romania slips one forward. He's got Giarico. He cuts around. It's Giarico. Oh, what a save. How the fuck did he save that? An absolute rocket. And Giarico still unable to find the third goal he was looking for. Giarico. He's going to take one from downtown. Whoa, what a save from Sanchez Ruiz. We've got a corner. And Giarico absolutely turning it on here, chasing that third. He's got the corner, though, for this one. He delivers in, and uh, they managed to hold it onto it. Ripart slips forward. Imania making a move back to the goalkeeper. Oh, look out, Imania's. <laughs> oh, that's got to be a red. Oh, just to tell you off, he slid the fucking goalkeeper and he just gets a telling off. Imania was trying everything and whoa! 
Full time, we have a 2-0 lead going into the second leg. So good work there for Madovia. Giarico, he is something special. I'm telling you that now. Ten shots to only six. They had all the possession, but Giarico with an 8.4 was the man, the myth, and the fucking legend of this game. All right, we're sending the reserves team out here uh, with the 2-0 lead. Oh, and Emania makes it 3-0. So uh, that's looking pretty promising. Just trying to freshen everyone up. The first team hasn't been doing too well in the Russian League, unfortunately. So uh, we're just going to concentrate here on the Euro League, I think. And Emania gets himself fucking injured as they finally get a goal. Olympiakos. It's 3-1 on aggregate. Stendera gets one, making it 4-1. And we're going to go through to the next round. So unfortunately, uh, Emania did his LCL in that one. And he's gone for three months. That's rather unfortunate for the young lad. All right, youth player wants out. Roman Mazipov. Let's go and have a look at him. All right, so here is our youth squad. And Roman Mazipov wants out. We're going to offer him a contract for sure. Oh, he's got no face, man. Come on, EA. Are you serious? Oh, what other 17-year-olds? We're going to sign them all up. Anyone that's 17 is getting a fucking gig in this team right now. Nunez, yep, no worries. Coming to this team. Uh, Bacalors, yep, okay. Hit the streets, mate. Mitchell, no worries. And that's all the 17-year-olds. All right, so, mate, we lost 2-1 to Dynamo Moscow. We won 4-0 against uh, Spartak Moscow. The 2-0 win against Olympiakos. Then we drew one all. Uh, 2 1 win progressing us through the EuroLeague and then a 3 0 win at home. In the internationals, we lost to the Netherlands 2 1 and we won 3 1 against Bolivia. So, uh, the next episode, we have. Oh my god, is that FC Porto in the quarterfinals uh, of the EuroLeague? Plus, we have CSK Moscow and then we finish off in May. So, probably the uh, season finale as we push forward. Let's go and have a look at the tables with 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine games remain in the Russian League. And having a look at the tables, we're still second. And there's six points, well, eight points. So we've got three games to try and make up on CSK Moscow. I think we put in a stipulation here that we've set up pretty well. And uh, obviously, we want to win the Russian League. But if we can win the Euro League, I think we should be allowed to move on. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, your thoughts on the matter, but uh, I think the executive decision right now is if we can win a EuroLeague title I think that we've built a team strong enough to uh, compete to play in this competition and uh, You know, it's pretty tight up the top here, but only the three losses So we've definitely built a decent team and with it with the seasons running away from us only a couple left We really need to get into group six. So season finale will be the next episode Hopefully we can come out on top and make up those points. Maybe win the Euro League. It's just going to be absolutely big. But I'm, I'm not going to say season finale now, sorry. If we make the Euro League final, that will be the season finale. If we don't, well, we'll just play it by ear. But fuck it. Let's wrap this one up before I just go and talk for another 10 minutes. Thanks very much for your time. I'm Spiring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one. Episode 100, thanks very much to anyone that's been watching since the start. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart and I love every single one of you guys that are still watching this series. We've got big things to come on the channel, so we're trying to push through this. But uh, fuck me, 100 episodes, that is amazing. Thanks very much for your support. I fucking love you all. And that's where we're going to end it today in first fucking place. We're going through to the Champions League knockout stages. Hopefully you're enjoying the series and we'll see you next time.